boy who planned synagogue assault in Ohio ordered to write book report. According to court documents, a 13-year-old kid who is charged with organizing an attack on a synagogue has been ordered by a U.S. court to prepare a report on a book on a diplomat who organized a Jewish rescue effort during World War II. The adolescent was taken into custody in September due to plans to assault the Temple Israel in Canton, Ohio. As per the transcript of the Stark County Family Court hearing on Friday, he entered true pleas to the charges of inducing panic and disorderly conduct. The youngster, who was not given his name due to his age, was given a year of probation by Judge Jim James. In addition, the youngster had to submit a report to the probation department about a book about Karl Lutz, a Swiss ambassador who prevented the Nazis from executing thousands of Jews in Hungary. Historians credit his issuance of protective passports with saving over 62,000 lives in Budapest, arguably the largest civilian rescue effort of the war. In addition, the kid was mandated by the judge to continue receiving counseling and to refrain from using the internet without supervision. The authorities were made aware of the adolescent's purported plan before Hamas strike on Israel on October 7. According to Jewish advocacy organizations like the Anti-Defamation League, there has been an increase in anti-Semitic events recorded in the U.S. at the time of his sentence. Social media users were horrified by the case, the organization said adding that they hoped it would serve as a teachable moment for other youth. The U.S. Education Department opened investigations into six universities and one Kansas school district last month due to the spike in anti-Semitic and Islamophobic language as well as claims of discrimination in American schools amid Israel's continuing conflict in Gaza. 1.12 million Toyota cars will be recalled due to possible airbag issues. A problem with the airbags in 1.12 million Toyota cars will result in a global recall. The Occupant Classification System OCS, sensors on several Avalon, Camry, Corolla, RAV4, Lexus ES250, ES300H, ES350, RX350 Highlander, and Sienna Hybrid cars are among those covered by the recall, which is valid for model years 2020-2022. The airbags on certain vehicles cannot deploy as intended if the sensors have a short circuit. The sensors ensure that the airbags won't go off if a youngster or tiny adult sits in the front seat. Toyota Motor Corporation owns the brands Lexus and Toyota, and it will test the OCS sensors and replace them for free if needed. By the middle of February 2024, consumers of the Japanese automaker will know if their vehicles are included in the recall. In July 2022, Toyota announced a recall for 3,500 RAV4 vehicles in the U.S. because of possible internal part interference that may lead to the OCS sensor misdetecting the passenger. Over 30 years, airbags installed in front of cars have prevented over 50,000 deaths in the United States, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Since previous airbags would always deploy in the same way for all drivers and passengers, they have changed over time. Children, tiny people, and unbelted passengers who were too close to the airbag when it deployed would suffer damage, and in rare circumstances even die, the government warned. Derek Ward, former Super Bowl winner arrested over multiple robberies. A former Super Bowl champion is under arrest on charges of robbing several local businesses in the Los Angeles region. On Monday, Derek Ward, an NFL championship ring winner with the New York Giants, was taken into custody. Los Angeles police said that the 43-year-old robbed at least five establishments, including gas stations. According to police, he wasn't thought to have used a pistol during any of the robberies. On Tuesday, Ward remained under arrest with a $250,000 bond. The running back was a member of the 2008 Super Bowl-winning Giants team that upset the undefeated New England Patriots during the regular season by winning by a margin of three points. Unfortunately, Ward fractured his leg late in the season, preventing him from participating in the championship game. But the next year, he recovered and recorded a career-high 1,025 yards. Ward played as a journeyman for eight seasons, ending in 2012, including spells with Tampa Bay and Houston. Man on the run over 25 million pounds Tamara Ecclestone burglary arrested in Serbia. 
In Serbia, a man wanted for break-ins, including a £25 million raid on Tamara Ecclestone's estate, has been taken into custody. Along with five other people, the 50-year-old suspect was being held in Belgrade on suspicion of money laundering. When Ecclestone was on vacation in Lapland in December 2019, money, jewelry, and precious stones were taken from her London residence. Ecclestone offered £6 million if her assets were found, in addition to a £250,000 reward for information that led to his apprehension. It is among the largest home burglaries to ever occur in the UK. During a two-week-long criminal spree, the gang also targeted former football player Frank Lampard and the late Vikhai Srivadhanaprabha, the owner of Leicester City. After entering guilty pleas, three Italian nationals were imprisoned in 2021, however, one suspect, Daniel Vukovic, left the country. Vukovic was identified in court as the gang's alleged fourth member and is said to go under several identities. After just a set of earrings had been found, the daughter of former Formula One Supremo Bernie Ecclestone declared last year that she was going Mel Gibson style from the movie Ransom to find the other pieces. This man thinks he can ride off into the sunset with all the spoils from robbing my family and I, she added. Metropolitan Police did not name the man arrested on Wednesday, but said, six people have been arrested in Serbia as part of an international money laundering investigation involving Met officers. One of the men, aged in his 50s, was wanted by detectives investigating a series of high-value burglaries committed in Kensington and Chelsea in December 2019. The men were arrested in Belgrade by Serbian authorities on Wednesday, December 20, supported by the Met and the National Crime Agency. Black gown that Princess Diana wore in the past sold for record-breaking $1.14 million. Princess Diana's 1985 Shock Azaguri gown set a new fashion record when it sold for 11 times its estimated price. When the black velvet evening gown went up for auction at Julian's Auctions in Hollywood, its anticipated selling price was $100,000. But it sold for an incredible $1.14 million, making it the most expensive outfit the late princess has had up for sale. A velvet gown by Victor Edelstein from 1991 that held the previous record sold for $604,800 in January at an auction. The most costly garment Diana has ever worn is still her famous black sheep sweater, which sold for an incredible $1.14 million at a Sotheby's auction in New York in September. Diana first wore the dress in 1985 while on a royal trip with her then-husband, Charles, in Italy. She did it again in 1986 at the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. The Jacques Azaguri design team meticulously stitched metallic embroidered stars onto the collector's item, which was made from fabric selected by famous textile trader Jacob Schliefer. The ballerina skirt was seen as a tribute to her passion for dancing and her sponsorship of the English National Ballet. A pink crepe blouse that Diana wore for her 1981 engagement picture was also up for auction. It sold for $381,000, over four times the $80,000 initial estimate. At the occasion, there were also dresses from Givenchy that Audrey Hepburn wore in the 1963 comedy charade, Gloria Swanson's sleeveless outfit from the 1950, noir picture Sunset Boulevard, and Barbara Streisand's sailor dress from a 1960s special called My Name is Barbara, 